When I came home from work yesterday, I found this note on the dining table from my girlfriend. You have the house for yourself the whole weekend. There's beer in the fridge and pizza in the freezer. Best birthday present ever. So as soon as the coffee is done, we're going out to the garage and we'll continue tuning or start tuning the SPX with the IBA pumper car. So last time we got it started, as you saw, there was pretty severe blowback. That's expected at low RPM. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to use my homemade indicator and check the rotary valve timing. It is possible that I put it in one notch ahead or behind where it's supposed to be when I had the cover off. It checks out, the valve is timed properly. So the blowback is just normal blowback for this kind of intake duration at low RPM. Let's start tuning. First stage of the process done, it revs even under load. Now I've just been turning these uh, screws on random and uh, it's time to check where I'm at now and see if it's uh, in a sensible range. I'm at one and a half on the low jet and And slightly past three quarters on the high jet. I'll dial in a quarter turn more on the high jet. I haven't opened the third jet yet. I'm not sure if I should. Maybe just half a turn on that one and see how it behaves. <laughs>
I was scared for a moment there. I thought I'd uh, melted the piston or the plug. But it turned out I just ran it out of fuel. It's kind of hard. I'm not used to the turning screws to uh, change jetting. And uh, it, it's easy to overdo it and then lose track of where you're at and what was working. I uh, <laughs> and actually I I just can't remember was it the black one that is the high jet or the silver colored one. So I I'm going to take a little break and uh, read up on the card and um, <laughs> just be sure that I know what I'm doing here and continue tuning. I have the whole day off so I can actually afford taking a break today. Woo. ride with the rat to clear my head. I did google some and uh, watch some videos and I found out that the jet closest to the carb is always the low speed jet. And that's what I thought but it's uh, it's nice to know that it's that's the way it is. It's no guesswork. Okay back to the SPX. <laughs> I managed to get one proper power run in 15.9 horsepower at the same RPM as with the, the float float ball carb I'm finding it very difficult to tune it doesn't seem to respond very well to to the screws could be the problem is that I'm taking the pulse line signal from the intake that's a possibility or it could be I'm just not tuning uh, fine enough doing fine enough adjustments so I'm I'm in the ballpark and then I turn one screw and totally screw it up and it's easy to lose track of what you've done to which screw so um, I've flipped the carb over so it's mounted like it's supposed to be and it seems to make a difference I've actually run the bike now uh, off camera it seems to be responding better to jetting than what it did before upside down. I've also been talking to Oliver Scullion, so if this fails, I'll try to make him help me. <coughs> Let's start it up and see if we can get better results now.
Flipping the carb over, having it the right side up, really made a big difference. Now it responds to the needles much better and it's much easier to feel if you're doing something right. And I managed to get a dyno run, or actually quite a few pulls in the same run. I was constantly tweaking the needles for all these runs. And the last one I did, 17 horsepower, max. I think my best on methanol and nitromethane was 17.3 or something. So I'm close to beating the methanol number with gasoline with this car. And I haven't even started tuning it yet. So this is promising, really promising. Huge thanks to Oliver Scullion, first for sending me the carbs, but also for helping me out here while I'm working in the garage. I've been uh, talking to him on the messenger and um, yeah, great help. Thank you, man. So this is really looking like it's going the right way. I'm uh, currently out of fuel. several hours later I um, I ran out of fuel that last run I tried to get a dyno reading but um, the dyno program crashed so um, no reading but it was definitely making even more power than the previous run with 17 horsepower and um, I'm having some issues with oil on the roller as you saw from the footage the tail is, uh, is fly <laughs> flying all over the place but uh, so what happened was I, I my neighbor came over. There was uh, whiskey. I made a pizza, ate it, and fell asleep on the couch. So now it's about half past eleven in the evening. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with the day. Uh, good results. The carb is working. Really good, actually, better than. It's working, the bike is running better than ever and uh, flipping it upside down or flipping it the right side up really made a difference. So a tip for anyone trying these carbs on their engine, run it the right side up. That could be because the pulse port is now not being flooded by uh, fuel but, or something else. People say these carbs can run in any orientation, so that's probably true with the post line connected to the crankcase, but not so when it's connected to the intake, I think, my theory. Okay, thanks for watching, see you next time.